Hello friends, Adam here with FED. Today we're going to be looking at the Bonite class, but before we do that, I want to say thank you so much for everyone, uh, to everyone who subscribed. We finally passed 10,000. It was a really quick uh, 9,000 to 10,000 jump. That thousand went by pretty quick. I feel like it only took a couple weeks. Uh, so I really appreciate it. It's really fun and exciting for us here. Um, so yeah, thank you <laughs> so much. Also, if you hear some baby noises, it's because I'm holding a baby right now. She will not sleep unless I'm holding her at this point, which is a bit of, it's like a, a bit of uh, an issue. It's something we want to work through and make it so that she like you know can learn to sleep on her own. Uh, but during the day, she has a hard time sleeping. So she is really young. She's only two weeks old. Um, so I'm really sorry if she makes a few peeps here or there, but it should be okay. She's sleeping right now. Anyways, let's talk about Bonite. Uh, I really like this class, and I thought it might be the best class in the game when the game first came out. Uh, since then, I have changed my thoughts on that. Of course, I do think it is Wyvern, uh, Wyvern Lord is probably the best class in the game for physical units, uh, but that doesn't mean you want a full team of Wyvern Lords anyways. Bonite is one of the better physical classes. I will say that. I like it a lot. But there's a lot of people who will tell you not to go with it and stick with Sniper. Uh, and that's because Sniper has a particular skill called Hunter's Volley that is a brave attack or a brave combat art that can only be used as a sniper, can't be carried across uh, classes. So I understand why that is the case, but I want to talk about, I want to talk about uh, how we can make Bonite a little more exciting for people and maybe make it a little more worth it to leave that amazing combat art in Hunter's Volley uh, to go to Bonite. But before we do that, let's do a quick overview of the class as we always do. Let's look at the gro growth rates. Uh, and again, growth rates are probably the least important part here, but still worth talking about. Not a whole lot of change, actually. Plus 10 HP, minus 5 speed, and then 5 charm, which is pretty standard. The minus 5 speed, uh, just every mounted class that isn't flying, so every just like riding class, for whatever reason, loses speed growth. Uh, I don't really care for it all that much, it's kind of annoying, but I mean, minus 5 isn't that big a deal. So, I mean, the growths aren't that bad, and I don't think they should keep you from using the class. Let's look at the stat boost now. Bonai has some interesting stat boosts, and I kind of like what they do with the speed. So, when mounted, Bonai has... gets a, Basically, you know, you get three and then minus two, so you get one speed uh, from Bonai. When mounted, if you choose to dismount, which isn't a bad idea, you can have three speed, which can be the difference between doubling and or getting doubled or whatever else, and it's honestly not that bad of an option. I just like options in a class, and that's a really good one. Uh, that being said, you do lose out on the two movement and Kanto when you dismount, but that's okay. Uh, you work, we can work around that. You can mount uh, at the beginning of the you can like mount at the beginning of your turn and stuff. So really, if you use it right, it shouldn't be that big a deal whether you mount or dismount. Uh, I, I do like the strength. You know, it's okay, luck is whatever. I, I honestly don't like when classes give you luck, like what the heck. Uh, defense is fine, and then uh, two HP. So overall, I don't hate these. This is, again, this is an example of a class that I actually kind of like already, but people just think like Sniper is way better and I want to kind of fix that a little bit, you know? So let's look at class abilities now. I think this is where we're gonna, this is gonna be some of my biggest changes. Even though, again, I think these are pretty good. So Kanto obviously has to be here because, you know, Mounted Class and, uh, awesome anyways. Bow Fair, extra damage is never bad, and Bow Range Plus 2 is really fun. Uh, though the problem with Bow Range Plus 2 comes with, uh, the fact that, especially on Maddening, the farther away you are from an enemy, the harder it is to hit them. So from, uh, 2 range, it is, like, standard, your normal hit rate formula, uh, and then from every space farther than that away, you will lose something like 20 to 30 accuracy. I can't remember what it was, what it is off the top of my head, but it's a lot. It makes it pretty hard to hit uh, enemies with like, you know, with, with your plus two range from four spaces away. That's pretty, that's a, that's a tough ask, honestly. Defiant speed, and I've talked about, I don't really care for defiant skills. I did have, I guess, a little, little retcon here. Uh, let's see here, hero. I was told by Rangor, the man who does the insane 0% zero, uh, 0 growth runs of three houses, uh, or one of the guys that does, I think there's another dude that's doing it too. Uh, anyways, Rangor told me that Defiant Strength is actually amazing and can make some first some good vantage setups with uh, 
to get some uh, one hit KOs and whatever else. So that's my ignorance showing. So it's actually a pretty good skill apparently. Uh, but overall, I still don't really care for Defiant skills. Uh, I, like, I see the merit in that one. I see it in like Defiant Avoid too. Uh, but Defiant Speed, I mean, it might keep you from getting doubled, but you're probably still going to die anyways, especially on Maddening. If you're under the 25% the HP threshold required to activate Defiant Speed. Uh, so I think we will be changing that, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, again, Bow Rage plus 2 is fine. Bow Fair is great. Kanto is unnecessary. Unnecessary. A necessity. And finally, let's talk about what it takes to get into Bow Knight. Sea Lances, A Bows, A Riding. I think that's pretty reasonable for everything that this class offers. The high movement, the high bow range. I, I like it. So I don't think this is too unreasonable. I don't want to change this at all. I think... Uh, sea Lances can be done in a couple chapters. A Bows, I mean, you're probably focusing on bows anyway, so you probably went Archer and Sniper already before Bow Knight. And even if you didn't, you're probably using it as your primary weapon if you want to go Bow Knight, so it's, it should be leveling up pretty fast. And A Riding, I mean, there's got to be some cost for 8 movement, right? <laughs> if you want 8 move, you gotta, you got to put in the work. Growth Rates, I don't think I would change. I think I would leave Growth Rates the way they are. The only thing I might change is, I don't know, maybe take the speed, I mean this HP, and throw it onto Dexterity or something. Like, I don't I don't see any reason for the HP to be there. Put it on Dexterity, give them a little higher Dex growth, something special that way. Fits with like a bow type unit too, right? Alright, stat boost is where I, we're going to start making a lot of changes, as per usual. Um, I like what they did with the speed, I don't want to touch that, but I want to get rid of this luck and defense boost and I want to get rid of the strength boost and I want to put it all on dexterity all of it all on dexterity so I want plus six dexterity uh, for this class movement's good of course too and HP is fine but I want plus six dex keep the speed two HP and a move uh, I think that and I'll explain why I want that in a second with these class abilities and arts that's this is where I think it gets interesting uh, bow Knight. I want, instead of Bow Fair, instead of Bow Fair, I want Uncanny Blow. Which is a DLC skill, can only be get, gotten from Mastering Valkyrie. But I think that uh, plus 30 hit, plus Bow Range plus 2, actually makes it you know, somewhat reliably hit from the 4, you know, the 3, 4, 5 range, uh, depending on the weapon you're using. And I personally really like that. That's what I would like to see. And it would make units like Bernadetta, uh, who have Deadeye. Essentially, it would just make Deadeye a more accurate combat art. And I think that's a fun little niche that you could have. So units that have that can make use of that. Um, and also just being able to attack from far away would be great. Now, Defiant Speed, I would get rid of this. I don't really care for Defiant Speed. And I would want it to be, I mean, the mastered ability to be something like hit plus 40. So just like a buffed version of hit plus 20, I think we would make it replace hit plus 20 if you already had that. So hit plus 40. So the the kind of gimmick I'm thinking of for this class that I think would be really fun is just to make it so it doesn't miss. On player phase, if it, it's rarely going to miss. Uh, with high dexterity, uh, give it high dexterity here, and then give it skills that make it so on player phase it's never going to miss, basically. And I think that makes for an interesting unit, especially when you want to use, again, combat arts that are really hard to hit. Okay, let's look at this real quick. Combat arts with bows that are hard to hit, uh, like Deadeye, there we go. Like, like Deadeye, or I don't know, uh, you know higher hit on, on, on a closer is nice, uh, heavy draw, all these things that, you know, Monster Blast, you know, doesn't give a hit. I don't know, that's just a thought I had. I think it would be kind of fun. But overall, I do think that this class is actually fine. I think people are too quick to say, oh, just go with the Sniper. And I want to do something that I don't normally do at this point, too. Who are some units that really would do well as a Bow Knight, right? Who are some units that would do really well as a Bow Knight? So let's talk about units that I think could go into bone eye just as it is right now i think that's uh, a more interesting topic than what we would change i mean i already talked about what we would change but let's talk about this too um for me the go-to's are leone because and cyril 
Leone and Cyril both get point blank volley, which is a, uh, a really awesome brave combat art that can supplant the need for Hunter's Volley. So any unit that has a brave combat art like that, I would throw into Bonite. And also, I mean, if you're in Sniper, you might as well have them learn the things to become a Bonite. You might, might as well certify into it. And at that point, you'll be able to uh, switch between them as needed. Uh, but that is just my opinion. So those are my thoughts. What do you guys think of Bonite? Uh, and thanks to everyone who voted on the poll, by the way. That's that's how we decided which class we were doing today. Uh, it was voted on by you guys. I'll put up another poll uh, today probably to see what class you want to talk about on Wednesday or Thursday. Because uh, I think I like doing two of these a week. I think it's really fun. Uh, it's probably These are probably my favorite videos to make right now. It's a lot of fun to speculate on. Uh, but yeah. Again, thanks for watching, friends. It really means a lot. And if you haven't subscribed already, feel free to do so. I really appreciate everyone who does, and you know the fact that we've crossed 10,000 recently is huge. It's been, it was such a fun moment to, to have, and uh, to finally see it pop up and say 10,000 was, was crazy for me. And of course, please comment your thoughts. Uh, what would you change about the Bonite class? How would you make it a more exciting choice, and give it more incentive to be picked over Sniper in the long run? But again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time, friends.